What is up guys? I'm here at H2O and right now we're gonna go in the back and show you guys where they're building the setups and after that we're gonna go around and check out all their pre-made setups and give you guys a comprehensive overview of what it's like to purchase a pre-made setup. Alright, let's get right into the video guys. Alright guys, so I'm here in the back area where they build the setups here at H2O headquarters in California and we're gonna try and go over some unanswered questions that some of you guys have and we're gonna go in depth into the facility here and I'm gonna meet up with Hector Jr. and we're gonna start touring the facility and going over all of the good stuff we have in store for you guys today so let's get into it all right guys so I'm here with Hector Jr. and we're back here in the shop and we're gonna give you guys some details on their shop here so for starters Hey man, how many vans can you work on simultaneously back in this shop area? So regularly, like day-to-day -day operations, we're working on probably about, sometimes if, if it's full, we'll probably be around six vans. Okay. But, let's... but then as well as like, you're talking about people coming in to get their stuff serviced too. So these vans are just getting built they're getting built, they're getting their frames done, full custom setups. Meanwhile, over there, we're getting trailers done, other custom setups as well. But we also do servicing for, for the mobile detailers that need an oil change, that need a quick repair. And usually that doesn't come inside the shop, it usually stays outside because we do it pretty quick. But as you see, we're building trailers here. This is a custom trailer that we built. Um, that Jose propped up and put a pretty big tank and a pressure washer on it as well. So, all right, sweet man. So that's that a, great. It's a it's a cool thing to to have a, a fabrication shop with with welders, fabricators that that they can get something done custom for you. And pretty much, there's no other shop that does it specifically for auto detailing. Right. Um, there's plenty of fabricators or welders that you go do go ahead and do it do it at home or do it with them. But for them it's it's very expensive to do just one setup. Right. And that's what I I stress can't stress enough is you know you guys been doing these guys been doing this 20 plus years. And like the, the experience that you guys offer is unparalleled. It's like yeah. a product that you can't get anywhere in the yeah. country or almost anywhere in the world in a way yeah. so it's like the guys that are in the market for getting a, a custom van set up they really got to consider um like seeing about shipping options getting yeah. the van shipped here getting it shipped back it's really something that i would say would be like uh, an important like discussion with yourself whether yeah. or not you want to because you can't get this product anywhere else so and there there's always the there's always a talk about like oh i could do it myself cheaper by any means anybody could do this stuff themselves you just know you just need to know how to weld um bend a couple things but to be quite honest it's not the same over the years we've probably messed up so many times and we figured out this is the right thing for this situation and that's just the way we've gotten and mm -hmm. imagine all we, the tricks of the trade we, all the little like things where you've developed better techniques yeah and then and then now even so we're coming across that we met our our uh what would you say our our limited capabilities meaning so we need different equipment we need cnc machines in here now we actually need laser cutting machines to get precision cutting and get these jobs done a lot faster mm -hmm. but in doing so right now we're working our best doing everything by hand like for example right here we're cutting all this metal and wood we're cutting all this metal and wood by hand rather than it being by machine but soon enough uh, that's what we're planning to go to and start getting these things cut, cut by machine. Get that precision onto it as well. For sure, I Ma hear you because this Ma is like some labor intensive, like grueling stuff to do, right? It's very, it, it, to work with this metal, 
with these yeah. smaller tools it's, it's, it's definitely difficult it's definitely uh it's not difficult but it, it takes a it takes a lot it takes a lot and then you got to get it right every single time when right you, when the machine it gets it right every single time maybe you need a couple pre-cuts but hopefully one day as soon as uh god god willingly we were able to afford a a good machine and and get into this because mm -hmm. not just learning getting the machine it's learning how to use that machine and how it can work for us absolutely but but so far you're talking about uh shipping shipping things um a lot of these setups they are shippable but shipping is very expensive um but that's why a lot of people what i would say is spend the extra 500 bucks maybe even ship the van over here and get the full setup or as well as we could figure out a way where we could buy your new van and we could build it here and ship it out to you so it's just a one-way shipping yeah just the one-way shipping you're not you're not buying so everything. a lot of options a lot of options and you know when I do these videos here at H2O, it's to inform you guys so you can overcome you know, any yeah, of those no, those no, fears no. that are you know possibly holding you back, uh, that are possibly holding you back from pulling the trigger and making your dream come true. So um, there's a lot of obstacles, but the thing is, H2O and the guys here they will help you overcome. There's a solution for literally like every situation. So, I mean, very cool, man. There's a lot of exciting things going on for you guys. You have a lot of, you still, looks like you still have a lot of ambition for growth. And there's a lot of new ideas and things that are you're going to put into place to just make your operation more professional, more efficient. And I mean, I'm I'm blown away at the, sh this, the sheer volume of setups you guys do. Yeah, like, Just on the setup you have here. We're building setups right now all by hand um no automation for sure so you guys are like ready to move into the assembly plant style is yeah. what you're telling me yeah okay so so right. for that i need i need a bigger facility more power machines and then obviously someone that knows how to run these machines and that's what i'm learning a little bit more of and uh nice but, but it's been it's been good the way it is right now but sure. of course i want to build things that that any everybody could have like mm -hmm. you're saying anybody across the u.s could afford these setups and maybe they won't be as badass as like your custom setup like this right because you literally came over here and you're like hey this is my vision this is my idea i need you to put it to life that's custom luckily you're you're in california and you're close to us but say someone out out there that wants to get stuff shipped out and they don't have someone at at hand i want to make something pretty unique and badass mm -hmm. as well I don't want to make a skid. I want to make something that's unique and as well as like it has all those fancy things that you want. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'll sell uh, add-ons where you could add your own walls, your own bottle holders inside your custom vans mm -hmm. as well. But so what? So it sounds like what you're saying is that if you get the design process like efficient enough, you can basically market to the consumer at a lower cost mm -hmm. and, a, and a, at a more of a um, kind of like set design for almost it definitely won't be it will try to do as best as we can to make it cheaper but from what i'm what i'm already seeing is i definitely won't won't be as cheap like it won't be like a thousand bucks or so but it'll, it'll definitely be more affordable and more uh accessible okay i say for at sure. least you're not spending all that money in shipping and just kind of like not all, having to put everything together all the comp it kind of removes all the complications aside and they can almost just go on your website and just order it like that yeah you know? yeah that, okay. that's that's gonna be a lot easier because um a lot of times i feel like it, i'm running 100 miles per hour uh, building all these different kinds of setups it's never just one uh, same setup just tailoring everything yeah. to everybody's specific preference it's oh it's always something different it's always a different reel so and believe right. me i like to make meet everyone's accommodations mm -hmm. but of course um i feel like we're, we're not charging what it is to make these are certain accommodations and taking a lot longer and that's why i think i just would rather sell a sim uh, a good setup a unique setup mm -hmm. for it to be shippable you don't have to work on it you don't have to build it this is the way you maintain it and if you want to add other things onto it this is what this is what we have 
Absolutely. And of course, everybody could go do it, do build, build it themselves. And and if we're gonna have videos of like how you can build it yourself. And I want to put people on game that you don't need that much to start off with, but definitely you do need to invest something for sure. Yeah. And uh, and you know what? Um, that brings me to another point is like. You guys know that they they uh, they sell the frames here, and there's a frame there's a couple frames here just sitting right here. But they have a whole room of these frames in the back that kind of connect like a puzzle, and you can almost buy just the frame from these guys. Which I mean, there's still going to be a lot of customization once the frame arrives, but you can get like a frame this size along with the other couple pieces that it needs to. Um, to assemble a full setup but you can get almost all the fabrication framework delivered to your house on a pallet pretty much which is going to be pretty inexpensive too but again guys it's not going to be the same as having cut a uh, h2o build it from start to finish there's I, it's just, yeah i think the the only thing that won't be the same is probably just the way it's um it's assembled as the flooring the, the flooring yeah. the flooring is the, probably the specific areas where you mount it and like yeah there's the little details it's probably the flooring is probably one of the 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 most time consuming and then of course even even for me it's a little bit hard because mm -hmm. i don't do the flooring all the time these guys do the flooring so they know their measurements they know for their sure. templates but and then of course i can't ship it's pretty hard to ship out a flooring that's like five feet tall or six feet tall and, and four and 48 inches wide and and there's just all kinds of little things that are that are necessary too like for instance all these little bolts and washers that go into the frame they're not pre-drilled they're kind of like pre they're decided on insulation and then also this um generator frame that's a separate piece from the frame too so yeah. there's just so many little intricate pieces that come into play and then also here's another thing so say you want to build your own setup and you go buy a water tank well your water tanks aren't going to come with these cool little metal straps and those those metal straps you guys build those here, right? Or those? Are yeah, those? we just fabricate. Those are probably like the more simple, simple uh, tie downs that we have for the for the water tanks. The I have a round water tank, and my on my round water tank, it pretty much is contoured. It, yeah, it's beautiful. It is. It, it, it literally contours that round. I don't even know how you guys did that, but yeah, it's, I thought it was like pre-made for that specific water tank, but no. it, it looks great. No, literally, that's that's one thing that we're very proud of is that we literally do everything in house. The only thing that we don't do in house is just the powder coating. Um, but soon enough, I think at the new shop, we should be doing powder coating, do powder coating? and and things and things could be but pushed out a lot faster. Do you guys do powder coating like right next door though? No, this is that's that's a different shop. Okay. We do powder coating in a whole different uh, city, city okay. which is like an hour away. In and San that, Bernardino. That's another thing too, guys. Um, this powder coating that they do, it is not your regular paint. It's durable. Like yeah. I've, I've knocked like metal tools and stuff on it, and it doesn't chip that. That it's it's like it's you can't it's scratch resistant in a way. You can't have regular paint on these things, especially since um, a lot of times you could be shipping these things to to Florida to these high humidity areas, mm -hmm. and imagine just putting regular paint on it. As soon as something scratches, your whole thing your whole thing just rust. But there's even mm -hmm. um, be honest, there's even some situations where the, the whole frame rusts because there was like a scratch and then the chemical keeps on falling onto it right. they're chemical resistant not bulletproof right right definitely definitely but uh, it's there's been it's just it's a big difference from your regular paint i noticed it's, oh, it's, of course. it's definitely worth it to get and uh be, so right now guys we're gonna we're gonna get into the fun stuff and we're gonna go tour their pre-made setups and we're gonna show you some of the benefits that you will get by getting these pre-made but before we go in there can we show them some of your inventory yeah for because they got a lot of a lot of stuff back here yeah so let's do a walkthrough of the inventory you guys got yeah so Man. don't don't mind the mess right now like i said it's very hectic we're getting we're getting uh builds out as fast as we can but for right now this is what we have already our prefabricated frames and if you see them saran wrapped together then that's probably just a, a set together that works 
for different size vans. Like you'll see and the different measurements. The, these are all walls, huh? Yeah, these go behind the frames. So it's an add-on option. So a lot of people just get the frames, but this is an add-on option as well. Okay. So you get. So you got you got walls pre-cut, pre-powder coated. You got a bunch of doors pre-cut, pre-powder coated. This is our version three doors as well. Wow. So these are all chemical uh, racks. This, that's a big, big necessity, man. When you, you need those chemicals with you and if they're not um, on a rack, they're gonna fall over like all the time. I'm always picking mine up because I didn't get them. So uh, definitely there's a lot, a lot of stuff, guys. Um, here's all the various hoses back here. There's more different, um, you know doors and stuff and i wanted to show you guys this i mean this is just insane the stockpile of max shine bottle holders it's just insane i don't know if you guys can see this but i mean it's just rows and rows and rows of these bottle holders and uh you said that this is a low stockpile right now yeah this, this yeah we're, we're running very low like i'm constantly having to place big orders and for example like the krenzels we're we're down to our last five um the bottle holders usually stacked up over here but there's a reason for all this there's there's relationships that we're partnering up with to to make these setups a little bit more affordable and as well as like get more customized um probably gonna, probably you, gonna you were thinking about yeah you were telling me earlier right you want to yeah. build your own uh bottle holders and stuff yeah so so max shine actually came out with the even though you guys may think oh this is probably like a simple design but it's it's very well thought of um just because of uh, the way it's machined so it's it's all laser cut and bent in a certain way so you just can't like produce this pretty easily like right out the bat right no this like is just this it's is not all, like you guys can go use all your equipment and start like no this punching is, out these this is this is all done by computer and that way they're all equally the same and as well as it's thought about the radius right here radius on this and as well as um the bends you get degrees and and this is very very good if you guys are ever looking to get a bottle holder get the max shine ones don't I, don't i love them yeah don't get anything else why because there's other bottle holders that just hold it on the top but then at the bottom it just loosens up mm -hmm. so max shine came out with this design where it holds your bottle in two angles so the one on top and the circle at the bottom so your bottle isn't moving Makes as sense. much so yeah. i i had to design Brush a bottle holder holder the, the, with the same thought but then as well as to, it to look different which you guys will see, see that's pretty things. sweet man yeah and i did see you in your office earlier doing like basically like engineering work taking measurements of computer rendering on yeah. the design software that that was pretty neat yeah and then and then the next thing would be is uh design designing cabinets so it's just it just looks a little bit more uh unique and you get custom cabinets to to your size of your van that for sure you do need precision cutting because if those if those cuts ain't right and the bends ain't right then it's gonna be off like this is our brake machine this is what you use to to bend metal we bend some edges to it this we've been having it probably for like four years already and it's been a good investment but there's definitely uh, other brake machines that we do need what is, what is uh, the brake machine to bend the diamond plating or any type of metal? It bends any type of metal. Okay. And uh, we are looking for a new uh, bend machine. I don't know if I'm gonna go. Yeah, that thing's durable. Yeah. And then what is this thing right here? I so, seen him using this earlier. So, that, that bends more. stuff too, right? Yeah, I think that's some of the metal. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, anything else you wanna show us while we're in this area? Cause we're gonna There's, do about like this is where they weld at right this is all your welding supplies and yeah so so a good thing to see as well is like see how custom we are right so these these aren't our reels these aren't the reels that we typically sell and a lot of times what companies try to do is um they try to sell you something where um like hey this is the frame we have 
and they sell you the frame, but they don't ask the right questions of like, what are you gonna be mounting onto the frame? So we gotta see exactly, hey, the generator could fit under here with this diameter of, of reel. So this is where we're actually seeing how close we could put uh, each, each reel and get it mounted onto the frame properly as well. And then it's kind of difficult because we're always having to change this stuff and so it takes a little bit longer. For sure. Man. All right, guys, and I'm trying to do a new kind of camera style with this filming, trying to do the selfie mode so we can both be in it. So forgive me if it's not the best quality. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Hey, if you guys enjoy it, please, right now, smash that like button. I know a lot of people watch the videos and they don't do the like button, but that will show your appreciation for me putting out this content. I would really appreciate that, guys. Also, H2O has a YouTube channel, so you can go to H2O Auto Detail Supply, check out their YouTube channel. They're on Instagram, they're on TikTok. So go ahead and give them a follow too, you guys. And subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing a lot of collaboration with Hector Jr. here. We have a, uh, we actually discussed earlier some new videos coming out too. So we're gonna try and keep this up and do some more um, work together. You know, he's he's a lot. He's big into social media, and he does a lot of that stuff for the, this company. Yeah. So he's always excited, right? You're you're always doing stuff like that. You got a podcast going well, this on. This is a new and, machine. Is that a new one? Yep. Uh, welder, right? Yeah, it's a welder. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien, ¿usted? Bien, bien, ¿tú va? Ah, no sé dónde está. Está aquí en la máquina. Okay, guys. Para conectarlo. Okay, thank you. All right, so where's the first pre-made setup? All right, guys. Now we're going into their other area across the way here. And I swear, this place keeps going and going. We got the shop that we were just at over there with a beautiful office. They just remodeled in the back. And we have the retail shop over here. And then now, in this area, is all of their pre-made setups. Basically, their sales lot with the pre-made setups that they have. And let me turn the camera around here. And... I'll first go over kind of like my uh, pointers of buying a pre-made setup and then you can kind of key in. So I would say guys like, you know, there's levels to this business and sometimes I heard of guys, you know, I know guys that they got into the business and they started with kind of like a base setup or maybe not a custom setup to their liking but they just got in the game with a setup that got them in right away so if you want to get started in the business right away and you don't want to mess around with all this customization and picking out all these products because literally it's i think in my van i have at least a thousand different accessories and parts and equipments machines so um with the pre-made setup it's a good option you will save some money on getting the pre-made setup and it's kind of like uh mitigates all the fuss and yeah. what, what about what would you say about so so the thing is with the with the pre-made setups was a lot of the people uh, when they first started out or even people that have been in the, into the business uh, they were having issues finding vans and then as well as uh, figuring out where to start off with what do they need what are the best vans so we got a lot of people that were selling their old vans or as well as we would get vans from the auction and just fully build them and, and put our custom setups inside of them as well in which now we're at a point that we have too many vans and I need to get rid of them. all these vans pretty much got this one this is my custom build that I built myself uh, we got a Dodge we got a Nissan and as well as a bigger Econo line I think that was a 150 and then we have this van here and then we have two more vans in different locations and also a third van in uh, where's that where's that one uh it's over there at vortex detail supplies i okay. think it's by 
by uh, San Francisco, by over there. So we got a pre-made in San Francisco, and here in Livermore. Uh, it's actually Livermore. Livermore. Okay. Livermore. So there's a pre-made over there. If you're close by there, go to Vortex Detail Supplies. They also got trailers. They also sell our setups over there too. So, um, what's the price for this bad boy here? This one is showing that it's uh, twenty-four thousand nine hundred dollars. Twenty-four one, grand. Yeah, this one comes with all brand new equipment. Don't think no one used this stuff. No, this is this is all brand new equipment. The only thing that's used is the van itself, and there's actually a brand new uh, motor on the Ford Transit as well. But it does come with two hundred and five miles. Okay. So. A lot of times, uh, it's just these vans don't sell as fast because because of the miles. Yeah, because people are very skeptical of the miles, and believe me, I would be too. But as well as like the price you're getting it for, right? And, and how easy it is and to it, fix it, motors or transmissions on these are super cheap. Right. You'd probably be spending around two grand to get something fixed, but this one was already fixed for you. And um, and I'm let, let to me make chime in on that. Uh, so I'm in the transportation industry. Yeah. So um i know that motors they can be repaired and transmission when you're in the transportation when you're doing deliveries and and stuff like that carrier uh courier you you know you put miles on the car yeah. so you go into a different element and you realize you know what man these are what the cars are made for put <laughs> miles on them yeah so you know um might not want to look too far into the um the uh mileage but more so into how strong the motor is how strong the transmission is obviously they'll be able to do a test drive yeah do, and, do all that stuff. and Take it, it to your mechanic yeah and then to put put into contents guys uh my setup for my van it has thirty thousand miles on it i paid like 32 grand yeah you know that's no so, setup in there right well. no setup and then with my and i i finance so i not only do i have a car loan that was around 32 grand it's 500 dollars a month with like a um and then uh plus i bought uh all the equipment setup accessories products tools equipment um and that cost me around 20 grand so i got about 50k in my setup so you guys how how much does it cost again 24 24k guys so Pre there's something to be said about pre-made setups. I implore you to take a serious look at possibly getting a pre-made setup. You will can you can save up to 50% um, and on some cases and other cases it's like you're saving 25 percent, but you're always pretty much saving right you're saving you're saving a lot more money yeah because uh, you'll still have to buy this van at twenty thousand dollars and you look at the craftsmanship you guys i mean you could and you could try you could try to find one of these vans for about 15 to twenty thousand, but you'll still be having them at ninety thousand miles yeah so you're still getting you're still into the van 20k with high mileage and uh and it's not set up yet yeah so hey who knows h2o might have a setup for you i mean look at this man that's a bitchin pump i i've never seen it before what is that it's a viper but that's, it looks cool that's a ready 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 power oh, ready power okay yeah. in which say if you want something else look at all that pump. as well right but, so there, there's a little bit of uh switcheroo you might be able to switch out a pump for something else but hopefully um by the time you upload this video i'll send you guys the, the link where they can see all the vans that i have they'll see photos descriptions and it'll pretty much be like a little dealership like page okay where they'll see all the vans and that way that'll be cool or you could even maybe uh upload a separate instagram for that like yeah H2O i have a separate paper. instagram but it's kind of it's kind of not the same i, th right? I think i'd rather do the, the website can thing. we see inside it yeah i'd rather do the website link and i'm gonna just have photos and stuff for it sweet man just what i like to see organization there's plenty of space look at all that space there's where your mighty carpet extractor is going to go your vacuum's already here there's plenty of space for your steam cleaner they got the badass slim tank that that's a huge tank that is, that is not 100 yeah what is it no it's 100 gallons that's 100 gallons yeah, that's 100 gallons okay yeah. It just looks big because it's a small head. Yeah. It's ready to go, you guys. So uh, let's move on to the next one. So 
this one, I gotta go by license plate. I don't even know what <laughs> we don't even know sometimes what we have inside the lot. So this one's eight six. Right here, this one was going for twenty eight thousand eight six seventeen. Yeah, twenty eight thousand. But this one has my new setup, and this one has. If uh, this is the one with the reels that come out of the little four rollers, right? Yes, but I like right that. now I took it apart. I had a I had a client um, come in the other day, and he wanted the same setup for the same van, so he needed to get it done in one day. I got most of the stuff built. But a lot of the other customization stuff, I needed to get it off this van. I see. So, all so the, right. So this van's taking it apart right now. And I, I wanted, I do want to show them that. So next time we'll we'll show them that new. We'll show setup. them the new van. Yeah. We, all we right. You can see it on on Instagram too when it was fully built. And this is another van. This one's a Dodge Promaster. I like these ones because they have a little bit like wider hips. Well, this is the one. Yeah. You have, right. I have the Promaster. This one's going for twenty four thousand. And it has 186,000 miles. Wow. You guys, take a serious look at the ProMaster it's a nice ride i love my pro master i i seriously if i had to redo it i would probably get the pro master again i just really don't like the transit that much as compared to the looks of the pro master so this one again it's going for twenty four thousand <laughs> twenty four thousand and you're Half getting price all this stuff of a full van and a full setup ready to go business for 24k yeah. and everybody knows that a ready to go business usually runs around 15k at 50k so that's like the going price yeah. you want to get a you want to get a food truck 50k you want to open up a barber shop 50k like everything's 50k that's like the sweet spot right yeah. and so and then and then you're also going to get those people who are like oh well i could just go to home depot get a ryobi you can you could do that by any means. No one's forcing you to buy stuff like Bro, this. Bro, but when you're doing volume and you have a real business, you need quality. And I'm telling you, this this shit will break down on you in the and field. You you know what you know what's the big difference too that everyone tells me? I get even those clients that are like, "Oh man, I was running that Ryobi for years." And as soon as they got a setup and you could say, oh, it's because it looks pretty. This, it's not because it looks pretty. It's because your hose is right here as soon as you need it. Your pressure washer is right here. Your your air compressor yeah. reels right here. You're saving retractable. so much time. It's not becoming a drag to run your business or wash a car. Imagine being mobile. You're not always gonna be doing five cars in one location. You might do one car here, one car there. I get I see these people that get builds and they they have to take mm. everything apart. Mm. They almost take an hour just to getting their sure. stuff ready. That's a drag. So with something that's organized and efficient like this, you're shaving hours and hours and hours off your work week and the more money you have, the more hours time you have, that means more time to make more money. Yeah. So and is this one open too? Is, is there anything to look at back there? Uh, no, it's kind of like a mess right now. But we can see the shelf design and kind of the overall look so i see why you're going here so there was basically all the reels were hidden behind yeah. the machines were hidden and you just have your hoses that you pull out and that was a new concept yeah and then as well as it's a smaller tank so it's not a 100 gallon tank it's an 80 gallon tank um i don't think there's reels on it. there's no reels on it took those off but but as but the whole thing was i wanted more space and then when you're detailing you get a lot of people that they have like their own like tables or something well this is your table right here okay that you're literally working on your floor mats or you could work on something i like that and this is like your workspace area i want to just put all your equipment in the back because and, and that's this is what hector is doing all the time you guys he's he is thinking of innovative ways to make things better right you yeah always you know it's always got to be like that especially with uh trying to have a, an edge on your competition uh, we've been doing this for for years so over years you get a lot of people just trying to do the same thing and to be quite honest um 
not to just brag on our on our work but I guarantee you that if you see our frames and and our work in person compared to the competitors yeah you'll see the the great difference for sure and just by seeing cuts just by seeing the different types of material metal that they use like that's what we're getting down to right here guys if you want to see more there it is I need to take all these bands out so I can take photos of them. So this is CM. Do I have this one? Yeah, this one's for twenty-seven thousand, and it has it has one hundred and fifty-one thousand miles. So this one has less mileage than probably the other ones that we have here. Gas powered pressure washer, vacuum rail. This one looks nice. I like the blue. And this is a Nissan. Yeah, Nissan Envy. I think these motors last a little bit longer than the Fords. So when it goes, when it comes into terms with mini cargo vans, Nissans are the smallest, and then it goes to <sighs> Nissan. Uh, uh, the Ford Transit has a few variations. They have a long bed, they have a short bed, they have a high roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the the Promaster is pretty much the biggest mini cargo van, right? As far as the size and the nissan's gonna be pretty compact but it's also a great option and, and what's the price tag on this thing that one was 27 so 27, 000. 27k and they're all pretty much in the same price range yeah they're all probably like so, less than thirty thousand. so we got like 25 25 and 25 and then 27 right they're like all around these yeah. these three over here were in the 25 range yeah and then this one is going for ECMO line. This one is going for twenty three thousand. Okay. This one's going for 23,000. This is one of the bigger vans. And this one does have 227,000 miles on it. Okay. And it's going for 23,000. Brand new setup. Um, actually, this is... Let's, let, let, let's do this. Let's break the price down. Where do you get 25Ks for these? 27k how does that price just so they put them in perspective because the average person they're here in 25 20 000 plus they're like dang that's too much like it's a used van it has high mileage yeah but compared to my van that's 50k let's let's put it into perspective so so, so the, the the main thing is uh the main thing that's going to run you the most is going to be your pressure washer and your generator so basically just the equipment alone if you guys research all that you're looking at close to 10k for that stuff right? i get i get equipment put it on, frames? The, on paper right now and watch so just the generator right if you're able to get it on sales 900 bucks for the generator pressure washer 1200 bucks so just on those two you're already looking at 2100 dollars okay and as well as uh the reels we get into reels so 95 dollars for this 50 foot plus the hose another 95 plus the the air compressor reel 150 plus the vacuum reel with hose 560 so we already got three grand just on the equipment alone right here yeah and, and then, then the frame oh then we have the electric reel right there on the side so that's another 130 and now the frame would be costing you about 850 850 plus the slide out 560 plus the wall behind it 450 plus doors is another 450 as well bottle holders let's say it's another 300 dollars with powder coat so we're already at six grand just in the back right here just on the back we haven't even talked about the water tank all right guys so the camera died so we took a minute to take a break and uh, we're back at it and we're gonna finish the uh, adding up here so so far we're just kind of giving you guys some information on where they come up with the numbers with the so, so it, it's coming around like 
nine grand, like nine thousand to ten thousand dollars for this for the setup alone. Okay. So you'll pretty much be getting the van just for thirteen thousand dollars. Okay. And we all know that's about standard price to get a a running, working, reliable vehicle is going to run you anywhere from ten to thirteen k for something with high mileage. And I mean, these guys, they're not selling vans that are gonna you know break right away you guys no, you kinda, guys can check it yourself check it with your mechanic and you uh, guys give it a test i'm drive. sure you guys that mechanic that looks at them too right yeah before, before we, you even buy it before we buy them as well as we assess them our own and then of course if there's anything that we do need to fix we fix it almost immediately but of course they're used vehicles so with that you take you take on your own risk of if it was a brand new van and, and brand new everything then the price would be crazy mm -hmm. uh, expensive as well but it'll guarantee you that you have the warranties and all that stuff for you turn as the well. camera around so he, so you guys you can s pretty much get an idea that uh you're pretty much half the cost is the van and the other half is like the, the setup. equipment stuff, yeah. the setup right yeah. so uh so well guys we were talking off camera and what we're gonna do is is we're gonna offer you guys a deal, a one-time deal. Um, if you guys, we're gonna um, name these setups between one and five. Or wait, how many setups? There's one, so two, there's four, three, four, ready to four go. or five. Okay, there's, oh, but that one's not ready yet. No, it's not ready yet. The, the, the one yeah. that you had to take apart, right? Yeah. So there's four. Four ready. So if you guys, what what's the deal gonna be? So if you guys mention Wagstaff and as well as you guys mentioned the video, then I'd appreciate if you guys come in person. If you guys can't come in person, then of course be serious on your inquiries. If you guys are ready, uh, we don't finance the vehicles, so you guys would have to be cash ready or we could also take upon a cashier's check and you guys can get a loan yourself. But if you guys are serious, make sure you guys mention a wax staff and we'll hook you up with the deal. And uh, I'm ready to sell. I'm motivated to sell. And I want to get this to someone that really does need this. Can you say the deal right now? Would you be prepared to say that? So, like, how much does this van cost here? Mm. 27 This van. And I'm kind of putting them on the spot, guys. So 20, 27 <laughs> So, so if, 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 if they call in and say, I want, let's call this van number one. And they say, hey, I want van number one. I like it. It's a Nissan. It's compact. It, you know, it's, 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 it's reliable. So already right off the bat, I'll knock off a thousand off of this one. I'll do 20, 2,600. That's sweet. 26,000. I mean. Okay. And then let's say van number two. Van number two. How much did we say for that one? Was 23. That one I could do 22. We're just knock off a thousand already. Can we get a look at it in the inside? Yeah. Look at those rims already, guys. Sweet. And it's already hooked up. Look at, I mean. Look at that. Okay, I can see why this thing's, this thing got a good price point. Cause I mean, they got a like a new wrap on it. All the plastics is like new, taken care of. Partition, a little workman, workman's uh, cabinet. You guys can get some big giant stickers and just cover that, but you can keep the rest. All right, it looks like that door is locked, so yeah, I'm I think show the key, I think get the keys for that one. But like I said, you guys could, if serious inquiries only, they have a lot of people calling all the time. So if you guys really appreciate their time, you know, just um, try not to just call for anything. Yeah, and, I'll have li a list of descriptions on exactly like all their questions, so they could see and read through all the descriptions. Like pretty much all they'll need to call me for is like, hey. Uh, 
uh, how do you, how can I get this delivered or when can I see this? Or so maybe even put a listed. deposit on it or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So thousand off van number one, thousand off van number two. Where's van number three? Is this the Ram? The Ram Promaster CD. This is just like my van guys. So if you like my van and I've put a lot of information on my Instagram and We'll say, uh, let's just say we'll do a thousand off for each van. Okay. A thousand off for each van. So you gotta factor in all the labor I'll do a and stuff. I'll do a thousand off for each van, but I know people, I know. I always <laughs> have to put the van super high because then they'll come to me and be like, nah, bro, can you do another 2,000 off <laughs> oh or something? Oh my God, <laughs> But uh, after this a thousand, I won't go lower. I won't go lower. All right, guys. <laughs> So you heard it here, and hey, these guys—they're already based, based. They're already base price. They're based. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they're, what do they call? Yeah, because I need to get rid of these man. They call it price to sell. So these guys, these are price to sell. And whenever this is ready, this is gonna be a sweet deal. There's also the Livermore van. If you guys want to check out their Instagram, check out uh, Vortex Detail Supplies. You guys can see that one. Livermore. That sounds like in England or something. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. No, but it's up. It's up north, next to like uh, what is it? Sacramento, Sacramento, okay. uh, San Francisco. Yeah. So, so we got van number one, two, and three, and then here is four. You have the black on red scheme. Everything is shiny. Everything is new. There's no scratches. It's it's gonna be this your one baby. Be 20, 24 out the 24. door. Yeah. And you guys also, like I said, sometimes you just want to get your foot in the game and you want to start with something low cost. I know guys who operated out of a low cost setup, a temporary setup, and then they got into something that was their dream. So if you want to just, if you really just want to get started with something very low cost, you can also get trailers. These guys have we can show them the trailers. That they have we'll go there. check out the trailers, and then that's going to be a wrap for this video, guys. It's it's going to be a pretty long video, and I appreciate you guys for watching, staying tuned this long. Please leave a comment. What is your favorite setup? Is it one, two, three, or four? And uh, give me guys your input on how you would acquire, how you want to acquire your first setup. What is this, a steam cleaner? Yeah, that's a vapor. Big old steam cleaner. So people wash, they wash their cars like that too. So right, right when you guys get to H2O, there's frames on display here. They show you, the frames are here. They show you how they're built. This is what it looks like in the van. So this is the back of the van. There's your wall. It connects to the uh, water tank in the back. And then your water tank is right there. So this is a great, basically a broad overview of what their frames look like outside of the van. I know it's, sometimes it's hard to see how it connects in while it's in the van, but this is how it connects. They pre-drill the holes and they put it together like that. So here's the trailers. Some of the trailers we have very low inventory right now on the trailers we are getting some built right now but um pretty much these are like the, tr the trailers that have all the reels they're a little bit more expensive and then we have something more budget friendly Budget wow, friendly. these are sweet. These these ones are the ones that I would go for. Just because they're, they're heavy duty utility trailers. They're uh, they're just built to last. Honestly. Okay, so that the, the the whole platform here is a lot heavier. Yeah. So you got this little platform, little single, uh, very short base, and this is a longer base with a wood floor. With a giant water tank. This is almost like a van setup. That's yeah. like everything you need there. Yeah. A lot of space. And this so is a, this is a more uh, uh, friendlier price, but still heavy duty utility trailer. It comes at forty seven hundred dollars. Okay, and I can see why it's a little friendlier price. It's you got uh, 
different style tank you don't have the all the fabrication like the frame and all that there it's kind of just a simpler frame so you guys this will get the job done a hundred percent and also you can buy these trailers with not so much equipment and you can install your own equipment afterwards right yeah so what's a kind of a broad overview if i wanted to get a trailer and i wanted to get in the trailer game what is the uh, what am i looking at like price wise the cheapest one i have would be like 2700 dollars. so it would be that trailer that's in the front the small four x four with this same uh style same okay. pressure washer and the water tank so we got four by fours and then what are these this is a four by six four by six and four by fours and do these need to be registered with california yeah. they have have their own license plate and everything yeah, yeah. so we're looking at 2700 up to what up for, to like, like a fancier one like grand. to 10 grand guys yeah. So this one's going for nine nine thousand. Nine K. And then I have uh another setup that's coming ready. Then I'm not gonna ask him to give you guys a deal on this, but if he's nice and you do mention me, maybe he'll work something for you guys so, too. So we also have enclosed trailers that are ready to go. Say like this one, this one will go for about Shit. uh twelve grand depending on the equipment that you put in here. But it's ready to go. It's one of the smallest enclosed trailers that you that can is get. Sweet. And it has nothing right now but this is either get built by us with our specifications or it can be customized to someone's liking as well yeah i like that that is a sweet little unit man yeah and it has a door on the side yeah it, it, it locks it up and everything's safe in there yeah if you want a trailer i would always go and close better and i this is their they got a water tank department here guys i mean it's insane it's yep. insane they got they got so many departments so we'll we'll uh ed, let, end the video here guys um like again again i i appreciate for you for watching and if you guys can hit that like button it'll help the algorithm help out my channel so i can continue to grow and get these uh videos out for you guys so hey let us know what setup you guys like and reach out to hector here yeah and yeah follow his ig he answers all the messages on ig yeah. so you guys can hit him up and uh i'll see you on the next one guys all right guys that is the end of this video and i wanted to bring to you guys attention that you can get all of your machines and equipment at h2o so you can buy any piece that you're looking for here I bought my Krenzla from them. I brought my Mighty from them. It a, saves a lot of time and effort searching, price checking, shipping. You can get all of the machines and equipment right here at H2O and they sell it at cost, you guys. They sell it the same price as the retailer. They're actually an authorized retailer for a lot of these pieces of equipment. And if you use my code WAGSTAFF at checkout, you will benefit this channel. So go to h2osupply.com and you can find all of these machines on their website or just go purchase them in person like I did. So I really hope you guys have a good success on your journey and I wish you the best of luck.